Hi, it's Christina with the Sisyphean Journal, and I'm stepping aside from abortion today because I want to talk about something that really troubles me. And that's how people who are opposed to the woke left mock mentally ill people who are being abused by the leadership of the woke left. These horrific meltdowns look funny to people who don't understand PTSD. What is happening when you see these meltdowns and this particular um, video today is a response to Steven Crowder mocking that teacher who was in her car having a meltdown at the site of an anti-lockdown rally. When you see that kind of emotional overreaction, that kind of outburst, that kind of meltdown, that means that there was something in that person's life for which that meltdown was actually an appropriate response, okay? And typically it's childhood abuse. So you might have somebody who watched helplessly as her father beat the puppy to death for peeing on the rug. You might have somebody who saw her father beating her mother and knocking her teeth out. You might have somebody who was abused herself, maybe repeatedly sexually abused. When you're seeing these meltdowns, you are seeing someone having flashbacks, okay? You wouldn't laugh at a veteran who was having flashbacks to combat. You would not think that that was funny, that their brain suddenly yanked them back to that horrifying moment. You should not laugh at these people whose brains are yanking them back to those horrifying moments. They aren't conscious of what it is that's causing that emotional reaction. And people can go through their lives not realizing that what this is is PTSD because nobody's pointing it out to them. Um, they're treating them as, oh my God, you're just overreacting again, instead of helping them to identify the fact that this is an overreaction to what's happening in the present because it's an appropriate response to something that happened in the past. And then they talk about triggering and we kind of mock trigger warnings, okay, because People have taken the legitimate idea of triggering and they've turned it into something it was never meant to be, okay? So the idea of triggering is maybe, let's use the example of the child was three years old and watched daddy beat the puppy to death for peeing on the rug. That is something, and the three-year-old can't cry because she's terrified that daddy's going to beat her to death for upsetting him. So that child can't express those emotions at the time. Those emotions are still locked away in the brain. And it's hard to say what might bring that back. It might be something that reminds her of her father. It might be something that reminds her of the puppy. It might be something that reminds her of something that was happening right before daddy killed the puppy. So when you're mocking at this person, you need to remember that there is probably you're, you're laughing at a child who endured something horrifying. Now, again, what a caring person would do is help the person to realize that the emotional reaction they're having right now is not in keeping with what's happening around them. And there are little therapeutic tricks that you can learn to help you uncover what the real cause of that emotional overreaction is. You can see what you were what you should have responded to back when you were originally traumatized. And then they can work through that trauma. They can stop being triggered and they can have a healthy life. But what the woke leadership does is they tell the person that that emotional overreaction is actually a sign that the threat is real. Okay. So Inside, she's her brain is triggering that three-year-old's fear for her life and horror at watching her puppy be killed. She's being told that those emotions that she felt when she was three are an appropriate emotional reaction to Donald Trump getting elected or a bunch of people having a rally. That seems ridiculous to you, but you wouldn't laugh at a Vietnam vet who, you know, his buddy got shot and pieces of the buddy's skull got blown into the canteen, 
and they could hear the, the skull pieces rattling in the canteen. And if that person had a flashback at the sound of a maraca because all of a sudden they were back in Vietnam with their buddy getting his head blown to bits, you would not dream of laughing at that. But what you're doing when you're laughing at these meltdowns is every bit as horrifying as laughing at that veteran who's having a flashback. Now, because what happened to that veteran happened as an adult, they are far more able to connect. Okay, this is reminding me of my buddy getting his head blown to bits. But if that trauma happened to you when you were a small child, you can't process it the way an adult can process it. So the reaction that would be appropriate is for you to be outraged that people are re-traumatizing this person, okay? Because every time you have that emotional reaction, that's a new trauma and that's reinforcing the trauma. And it's like, if you imagine um, somebody's got a serious burn and you keep rubbing the burn, that keeps damaging the skin, and you rub the burn, and that damages the skin. This is rubbing a psychic burn and causing more damage, and it's actually adding to that initial trauma. What you are seeing is not some snowflake who just can't get her shit together. What you're seeing is somebody who is continually being emotionally abused for political reasons when what she needs is help. She probably needs a medication to break that cycle. And it can be something small. Sometimes just a small dose of a tranquilizer breaks that cycle in the brain. You know, um, repeated experiences cause repeated cycles in the brain. It's like you might get up in the morning and brush your teeth and shave without ever even thinking about it because you're going on autopilot. When you drive to work, you're not even thinking about that drive because your brain has built that pattern. So... They are reinforcing this pattern of every little thing upsets them that much. And they honestly believe that this overreaction is appropriate. This, this teacher is having this meltdown. She believes that these people are causing massive death. And you're like, this isn't rational. Well, no, it's also not rational to hear a maraca and think about brains in a canteen. I mean, uh, skull fragments in a canteen. So again, the appropriate response to these meltdowns is compassion for this person who probably has post-traumatic stress disorder and anger directed at the people who are exploiting it for political gain. Have some compassion for the people and direct anger at the manipulators rather than scorn at the suffering person.